Okay, let's get started. So thank you for joining. My name is, uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Dr. Edmund Farrer. I'm one of the co-founders of Otto and <clears throat> we're here tonight to talk about the Otto app. So for those of you that don't know much about the app or that are new to the app, the Otto app is essentially a way of accessing a digital program that will teach you to tune out tinnitus. So what does that look like? Well, just think back to the first time that you noticed your tinnitus. How did it make you feel? And imagine that feeling was sadness, frustration, stress, anxiety, horrible feelings. Now, because our tinnitus makes us feel that way, the brain's automatic reaction is one of those one of those uncomfortable feelings. Your brain registers your tinnitus as a threat. Your brain is like, okay, there's this thing that's making me feel bad. I need to keep checking to see whether it's there. So your brain keeps checking to see whether your tinnitus is there, and then you notice it, or you think about it. So often you'll find that if you go into a quiet room, the first thing you'll do is automatically check, is my tinnitus there? And then of course it is, makes you feel bad and the cycle continues. So what we're going to do with the Otto app is we're going to change your brain's automatic reaction to your tinnitus. And if we change your brain's automatic reaction to your tinnitus, we reduce that reaction or get rid of that reaction, two things will happen. One, you'll stop noticing your tinnitus. It'll be background noise. It'll be there, but you won't notice it. Two, if you do notice it, if you listen out for it deliberately, it won't bother you. It won't make you feel sad, anxious, depressed, hopeless, all those horrible feelings that your tinnitus is making you feel at the moment. It won't bother you at all. So how is the Otto app going to teach you to do that? How is, the, how is the Otto app going to teach you to change that reaction so that you can stop noticing it, push it into the background and tune it out? Well, it uses something called cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT for short. And CBT is a type of treatment that works by changing your brain's automatic reaction and modifying your brain's automatic emotional response. So what we're going to talk about this evening or this morning, depending on where you're calling in from, is um, we're first going to talk a bit about um, how CBT works and how CBT works for tinnitus in the Otto app. Then I'm going to take you guys through the Otto app. And I'm going to tell you all about it. So right from day one, what should you be doing, where to find things, how to use it, what time to use it, how frequently to use it, all those questions I'm sure you've got about it. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for how you can get the most out of it, how you can get faster results, how you can get to where you want to get to as quickly as possible. Um, and then I'm gonna take some questions from you guys. So if you have any questions about the app, tuning out tinnitus, DBT, pop them in the chat, pop them in the Q and A, um and i will get round to them um so you've got an opportunity now guys to ask your questions directly to me so if you have any questions put them in the queue click click on the q a button and fire away and i'll get around to them okay so first things first how does cbt work for tinnitus well cbt works on the basis that how we think determines how we feel. So if we change how we think, we'll change how we feel. And if we change how we think about our tinnitus, we'll change how we feel about our tinnitus. And so how CBT works specifically for tinnitus is it changes the thoughts that you automatically have about your tinnitus. So those thoughts I talked about, remember, 
the the horrible feelings uh, and the thoughts, those automatic thoughts will be changed with exercises that you can practice. So what the Otto program will teach you is in the beginning, it will first teach you to understand these thoughts and feelings that you have about your tinnitus. This automatic reaction that your brain is having will help you understand it. The key to changing that is to understand it first. So um, a lot of the exercises we do in the early days are about all understanding how our body and how our brain reacts to tinnitus. Then we'll teach you exercises throughout the program to change those reactions. And that comes from practice. So as you can imagine, changing your brain's automatic reaction isn't something that happens overnight. Um, you'll make progress, probably you'll, you'll start to notice the difference in a few weeks, but it's something that the more you practice, the faster you're going to get results. And I'll come on to that later. Okay, let me share my screen. So what I was saying before is that I'm going to take you back from the start of the app. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is ask you to give your name. Um, if you can't hear me again, guys, just just do tell me. Thanks for for, for letting me know. Um, so the first thing it will ask you to do is give your name. And then the next thing we'll ask you to do is select a background sound. Why do we have a background sound? Well, it's simple. Silence is probably uncomfortable for you guys. For my tinnitus, when my tinnitus was difficult in the beginning, silence was uncomfortable. And it was just nice to have a sound. It's nice to have a sound in the background to distract you from your tinnitus. So you can pick one of these four. These are the four most commonly used sounds that people like the most. Um, and you can pick one of these to have as a background sound. Um, we also have loads more in the app, which you can choose from. But this is just to begin with. So this sound will play whenever you open the app, if you want it to. So we have some questions now. So we ask you these questions so we can personalize the program to you. And these questions are all about the impact that tinnitus has on your life. So we'll ask you questions about what tinnitus, how, how the tinnitus makes you feel. Does it impact your sleep? How? Um, let's go through these and I'll show you. So how long have you had your tinnitus? Um, so I'll do it for me. Uh, it only bothers me sometimes. Um, let me, in fact, I'll do it for how, how my tinnitus was at the beginning. So I was often aware of my tinnitus. Um, it often irritated me. So as you can see here that we're talking about the impact, the emotional impact, the tinnitus, the brain's reaction to the tinnitus. I was often worrying about my tinnitus. Uh, my tinnitus didn't really make me feel alone, um, thankfully, because I knew other people with tinnitus. So often my tinnitus was causing um, problems with sleep. I Most of the time I used sounds to get to sleep. I never use medication to get sleep. Uh, it tends to stop me from concentrating sometimes. All of the time, my tinnitus gets worse when I'm tired. So you can see these questions that I'm going through here are to, un to understand the impact, that the, the, the different areas of your life that tinnitus is having an impact. And then it will give you a, some, a, a stage. So many of you might have wondered, what is this stage? in relation to so there are four stages and these stages are called the habituation stages okay and it will give you some information on these here i'm going to talk you through it remember at the beginning when i said those two things that happen when you change your brain's reaction to the tinnitus you stop noticing it and if you do notice it, it doesn't bother you that process is habituation. That's what we call it. So the four stages are to the extent that you've habituated. So stage one is really early stage of tinnitus. It's really, really unpleasant. Thomas, is there a way to go back and through these initiation questions? Yes, there is. I'll show you how to do that. Um, good question. And then it will take you through the different stages. There's four stages. Stage one is the worst. Stage four is fully habituated. I was uh, stage two. And you'll find that as you make progress, you work your way through these stages. So this is a really good way of measuring progress, guys, is by um, by doing this questionnaire to understand 
to what extent you have habituated. So um, you'll have a nice intro uh, video from Lily, um, which will just give some information about how it works. I'm not going to show you this now. It's just an explanation of habituation that I've just given you. And then you'll choose the things that you want the most help with. So for me, sleep and focus. And then we'll build your program and based on the uh, based on the questions that you've just answered. OK, so it will get you started with your program. Give you some instructions. This this I'm I think I'm on a uh, so, John, you can't find the screen. I'm going to show you how to go back to the beginning. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to retake your assessment again. Um, so I will show you how it all works. And then it will put you onto this screen. So this is the home screen. So guys, do you remember right at the beginning, it asked me to choose a sound, a background sound. That sound is at the bottom here and it's called the soundscape. So you can tap on that. Play the sound, change the volume of the sound. And if you want to set a timer, so for example, if you wanted to go to bed and get it to turn off automatically after 30 minutes, you can choose the time that you want it to go off. Okay. So if you can hear a sound playing in the app, you can always access that sound just at the bottom, this little bar here at the bottom. It will say the name of the sound. Okay. So I'm going to tell you how you can change that sound in a minute. But before I do that, let's talk about how you can access your program. So each day, the app will tell you sessions to work through that are part of your program. So the program split into days. And the app will tell you what to do each day. And it's really simple. You just press, you tap anywhere in this card here where it says your brain can tune out tinnitus. That's the name of the session. You tap on the little play button. And there you go, day one. You just press start. Hi. And it will take you to the session. You listen to the session. Once you've finished the Enormously session. Enormously helpful. Just take that to the end. It will give you a nice summary. Oh, sorry. So this will give you a summary of the things that you've learned in that session. You can click continue. And then there'll be a second session that you go to that go to practice. So what you'll find is that um, the way that the sessions works is you'll usually learn something new at the beginning of the day or the first thing you do in the day. And then there'll be something you can practice later on, a new skill or technique. If you if you see there's a tick just next to the first session, and that means that you've you finished that session. And as you finish the sessions, it will tick them off. If you want to look at different days, you can scroll down here and just keep scrolling. And once you've finished the day, in fact, let me show you what happens when you finish the day. Your brain. Um, so let's just finish well this. Done. I'll see you tomorrow. It'll give you a summary. And the day will be complete. Click finish. And then it will say at your, your, your it will say on the home screen, you've completed your day. And that means the sessions you've done that day are completed. Okay. So it's as simple as that. Each day, just work through the day that it tells you for your program. Now, let's say you really like, let's say you want, well, let's say you wanted to go back and you wanted to practice one of the sessions that you'd already um, practice one of the sessions that you enjoyed during the day. Well, you can clap on, you can, you can tap on the, you've completed your day, the box there, 
tap on that and it will take you back to the sessions that you've done and you can see the little tick next to the box if you've done them if you really enjoyed it and i would recommend you doing this guys if you enjoyed that session especially if it's a practical exercise let's say this practical here tune out tinnitus tap the heart button in the top right hand corner see that heart button there and then if you go back to the home screen there's a button here called favorites you can go in there and that's where you'll find your favorites so that's the daily program each day work through what it tells you to each day if you want to go back you can just tap on here you can save sessions to favorites if you've saved it to a favorite it will have a heart next to it um and then you can practice the ones that you've liked in the favorites so the way to work way the way to work through the program and this is the way to get the best results and the fastest results so um take note of this guys find 10 to 15 minutes each day at the same time each day. We find that first thing in the morning works best. So what I'd recommend is that the first thing you do each morning, see after you've gotten out, got out of bed, is spend 10 to 15 minutes in a place where you won't be disturbed and do your daily sessions in the Otto app. So the first thing you do each morning, go into the app, do your daily sessions. In those day sessions, if there's a, if there's something you find useful, tap the favorites button, save it to favorites, and then throughout the day you can come back and practice those things you've learned in the morning. Repetition is really really important here, and the more you repeat and practice these exercises, the faster you're going to get a result. The faster you're going to see progress. This is an automatic reaction in your brain you're trying to change, okay? And the way to do that is by practicing what you've learned and finding the things that you find most beneficial. So if you found a session or a practical session useful, save it to favorites, come back through the day and practice it. The people we see that get the best results with the Otto app, that get the fastest results, are the people that practice what they're learning regularly, okay? What next? So, um, we talked about sounds at the beginning. Lots of people have, lots of people with tinnitus have questions about sounds. Which sounds to use, when to use them, how long to use them for. We take a really uh, relaxed approach with sounds, Otto. Um, the scientific research shows that there is not really going to be any benefit to your tinnitus for listening to sounds for six, seven hours a day. Many of you will sound find sounds useful. Most of you will find sounds useful at some point. If you like a sound, listen to it. If you find a sound relaxing, listen to it. If it's something that distracts from your tinnitus and you just find it help, it helps to calm you down or it helps to make you feel better, that's fine. Don't worry about finding a sound that matches the frequency of your tinnitus or finding a sound that um, that needs to specifically match your type of tinnitus. A lot of people stress a lot about tinnitus sounds and you don't need to. It's all about finding what works for you. Okay, so we've got over 100 sounds in the app here that you can explore using this bar at the top. So if you just, if you see, just scroll through at the top here. And we recorded the majority of these sounds ourselves. So we had an audio engineer, for example, running around with a microphone chasing a bumblebee. Um, so we've put a lot of effort into these sounds and we've specifically recorded them to be as helpful as possible for, for people, people with people like you with tinnitus, excuse me. Um, so I would recommend having explored these sounds, going into them, finding what you like. If you like a sound, so as you notice, uh, if you just tap on a sound, it will, it will start playing on the bottom here. Okay, can you see? White noise, it's now at the bottom. You tap on that and you can just add it to favorites. 
Oh, I did that quite quickly. Let me just show you what I did again. So if there's a sound you like, you just tap on it, blue noise. And then can you see at the bottom here, blue noise comes up. You tap on that, and it'll bring you this screen. You can then either set a timer, or you can tap the heart button if it's a sound that you like. And then that will add it to the favorites, which you can find at the top left here. And then your favorite sounds will, will come up here. If anyone has any questions about sounds, just pop them in the Q&A, pop them in the chat, and I will come on to that in a bit. OK, so you've gone through your daily program. Um, I've talked to you. I've recommended a way of using it. Same time each day, practicing what you've learned. Um, I've talked to you about sounds and how to how to find a sound that's that's good for you, that's beneficial for you. Now, there's a few other features in the app that I'd like to talk about. And a few of you have actually already asked about how do you go back to check the progress that you've made? Oh, so there's a quick question about masks. So whilst I, before I go on to that, Chris, good question. Do I recommend maskers? Again, so a tinnitus masker is a, just in case anyone doesn't know what that is, a tinnitus mark, masker is a device that you can buy it could be a little box, um, it could be some headphones, it could be something that you, you put on your ear that will play a sound to mask the tinnitus. And the answer to that question is, Chris, it, it, it genuinely does depend. If you're someone that really struggles to sleep with tinnitus in the early days because you can't uh, stop thinking about it at night or it's very loud at night, then a masker might be helpful for you to get off to sleep. Um, I don't recommend um maskers to be used for hours and hours a day if you listen to a masker for an hours and hours a day it's not going to change the volume of your tinnitus there's not much evidence to show that it's effective uh, the research doesn't show that it's effective in the long term so again if it's something you find helpful and if it's something you gives you relief in the short term by all means use a mask i wouldn't recommend not using one i just wouldn't recommend using them for you know five six hours a day if that makes sense OK, so Thomas and John, you asked, how can you go back to the beginning and, and go through these questions again? Well, let me show you. In the top left hand corner, you'll notice an icon of a person, head and shoulders. You tap that icon there and this will take you through to your profile. Now, on your profile, there are three features I want to talk to you about. Well, there's four features, actually, as you can see. I don't know why I said three. Um, there's four features here that I want to talk to you about. The first one is accessing that assessment that I told you about at the beginning. So you're probably wondering how I'm working my way through this program. I'm not really noticing much in the first weeks. How do I know that it's going to get better? Well, what I would recommend doing one month after you've been using the app most days and got in the habit of using the app, is retaking that assessment from the beginning. And the way you retake that assessment is by tapping, can you see here where it says stage two? So I'm stage two out of four. You can tap here. And then it will just have a button here that says retake assessment. And then I can go through and I can ask those questions again, and it will calculate your stage for you. Guys, I want to really emphasize this, don't, do this too often. This isn't something that you should be doing more than once a month. The reason is, is that if you think about this too much, you're actually going to impede the process of focusing on what matters, which is changing your brain's automatic reaction. Um, and if you think about whether you're making, pro it kind of almost has the opposite effect. With tinnitus if you think about whether you're making progress too often and you think about you're kind of noticing is my tinnitus there is my tinnitus there you actually might find that you notice your tinnitus more so i would really be careful about don't do this assessment too frequently do it around once a month and once a month is a really good way of checking to see how you made progress okay so that's the first feature i wanted to talk to you about here number two manage your goals so you know, here, if you wanted to change and focus on um, feeling more calm, you can change these goals here. 
Number three, a lot of people with tinnitus struggle with noise, um, sound sensitivity or uncomfortable feelings when they hear sounds or noises. So if you click on the sound meter, also would like to access the microphone and it will give you how loud the environment is. Well, it should do anyway. It doesn't look to be working at the moment. Let's try again. Okay, sorry about that, guys. That's not working. Um, it's just a new, it's a relatively new feature we've built. So I will speak to our development team and get that fixed. We're only a team of, we're only a small team. Um, so um, sometimes things don't work. Um, my journal. Okay, really important feature. And it's a really important feature for you to be using to get the most out of the app. You'll find that at the end of certain days, the app will prompt you to make some notes on the things that you've learned and the things that, and how you, how you feel that day. This is so, so important guys, this journaling feature. Okay. The reason this is important is because journaling has been shown to improve outcomes in CBT for tinnitus. So if you answer the questions, ask the, ask, answer the questions that we prompt um, at the end of the day, um, it will help you to recognize the changes that you're, that you're, that you're, that, that are going through your brain and you can access the journal and your thoughts here. So you can see on Friday, the 28th of July, I, uh, answered these questions uh, with some not very uh, tangible answers. So I was lazy and I skipped it. Um, but it's really important here to, to use this to consolidate what you're learning. And I'd really recommend doing this. We have a few questions about where do these journal entries get stored? It's all private. We don't read these journal entries without your permission. Um, and uh, it's certainly not something that we'll ever use to... Um, We'll ever, we'll ever, we'll ever share with anyone. So this is all, this is all private and it's kept on a private server. Okay. So journaling, that's really important. The final thing I'd say is, um, events. So head over to the events tab. Well, in fact, no, before I do that, let's go to the explore tab. So if you go to the explore tab, this will help you with things based on your goals. So let's say you're struggling to get a good night's sleep. You could just go to the explore tab, click on sleep. And you will have a whole host of content that you can use to get to sleep. Get to sleep now, wind down before bed, learning how to sleep better. So we've got loads of sleep content for you there. If you wanted to learn about tinnitus, we have some tools in here that you can learn about tinnitus. If you wanted to focus, we have some tools in here that you can improve your focus with tinnitus. Okay. And then you can browse every single piece of content that we've got in the app um, here. So... If you just wanted to have an explore and have a look around different different bits of content, you can see where it all is on this explore tab. Um, oh, Giselle, thank you. The sound meter works on Giselle's app, so it might just be my app. Um, I think I'm on a beta version of, of the app, so that might, might be why it doesn't work. Um, but I'm glad it works for you. Thank you, Giselle. Um, finally, the events tab. Guys, this, is, this may be how you booked this event. This may be how you got here tonight. So this events tab is where you will find all the events we have coming up in the coming months. So we run these free webinars every week. Every Thursday, we'll run a free webinar with what we hope is some useful content for you. It could be taking you through the app. You can see here we are interviewing Dr. Gladys, who's a uh, tinnitus specialist audiologist. And you can register for these events directly through the Otto app. So um, guys, book in through these, it's, it's great. So Angie, question from Angie, how much is this? I'll talk about pricing at the end, Angie. Um, a lot of the content in the app is free. The first seven days of it are free. Um, it's free to book into webinars. All the webinars we run are free. All the sounds are free. Um, the full program, the full CBT program in the app um, is £10, $10 per month. Um, I will talk, I will come back to pricing at the end though. Um, we really want to provide as much free content as we can. 
Um, I have tinnitus. My co-founder has tinnitus. It's really important to us to um, make good help for tinnitus um, accessible. David, I'm aware that my battery is at uh, 12%. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, we've got 10 minutes. I think it's, I'm hopefully it's going to last the, the 10 minutes. Um, so events, uh, if you miss a webinar, you can access the recordings through here. So you just tap, you can look at all the recordings of these past webinars, just tap view recording. That's a premium feature. Still need to be subscribed as not a premium member to view the past recordings, of the webinars. Um, the reason being is because it's so much better to attend the webinars in person. So, um, because you get to ask questions directly. Okay, right. Let's go on to your questions, guys. Um, so we've got some questions in the Q and A. Um, okay. So, so uh, Alan, uh, I think has said um, the sound meter not working, and I need to allow the app to use the microphone. That might have been it. I, I don't think I. I don't know whether I allowed the app to use the microphone or not. So, thank you for that, Alan. Um, okay, so can you explain the in-app pricing and how you select which one you want? Great question. So we have a few options. We have three options, actually. The first option is just access, access to the premium app content. Now, that's £10 per month, $10 per month, depending if you're in the US or the UK. And that will give you access to um, everything in the app, so all the premium features in the app. If you want to get results faster, if you want to get results with more help from us, we do offer two more options that include either one-on-one -on -one coaching over Zoom or group coaching over Zoom. So both of those options will build you a personalized tune-out tinnitus plan. Um, so one of our team of specialists, one of our audiologists will build you a plan to get you results quickly based on your own experience with tinnitus. That plan will email to you in a document and it will give you a day by day plan of what to work through for, um, for the next three months. And then that, that comes with either group coaching or one on one coaching. So it largely depends. Uh, so in terms of how you select which one you want, it does depend on um, uh, A, are you happy with just working through an app on your own? Would you like some extra help from us? If you do want some extra help from us um, and some extra guidance, is group coaching appropriate or is uh, is one-on-one -on -one coaching appropriate? Um, and also, how quickly do you want to get there? So um, the more personalized help we can offer, one-on-one, -on -one, we'd expect you to get a really good result in, in, in two or three months. Um, the app will obviously take a bit longer because you're on because you're on your own and group coaching. We expect you to get a good result in three months. We do. Um, if anyone, we do offer free consultation if anyone's interested. So you can book a free consultation through the app to talk more about those. Um, so Angie, that is what I need. Yes. So um, if you uh, if you book a cons, if you can either send me an email, Angie, and I can give you some more information, or you can book a consult. If you go into the app, you can see here where it says book your consultation. If you do that, you can get a member of our team to take you through, take you more through that. If anyone else is interested in any of those, just go to the home screen and book a consultation and we can and we can help with that. Um, Sean, good question. Any any specific guidance on the best way to recommended uh, recommended to any specific guidance on the best way to utilize recommended sessions beyond the program lessons? So these recommended sessions are something we're working on improving. Um, to begin with, uh, they're based on the outcomes you want, the things you want the most help with when you work, when you when you help, when you um, when you go through the introduction. So, for example, if you said you wanted helping with learning about tinnitus and focusing, the recommended sessions would be on there for you. What I would recommend doing, Sean, is that these sessions are specific to the goals that you have. So if you find the recommended sessions helpful, these are going to be great sessions for you to practice regularly. So for me, this body scan um, and this 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 home session are both sessions that um, we've selected would be helpful for someone with, with the same goals. So for me, my goals were sleep, um, body scan, great for sleep, home session, great for sleep. So um, 
those would good those would be good sessions to practice for you to practice regularly. Uh, so question: um, Do the early days of my plan has some sounds played as part of an exercise? It'd be useful if the sounds could be played for a bit longer, so I can focus for just a few more seconds. I'm finding out that they're fading on just not focusing on them. Thank you for the feedback. Um, we will, if you wanted to access those sounds, then we actually have all of the sounds that are played in the sessions in the sounds tab. So if you go to the sounds tab, you'll be able to find those sounds again. I'd really encourage you to explore those sounds. I'd encourage everyone to explore the sounds in the sounds tab. Um, because you will find something there that you find that you find beneficial. Angie, do I have tinnitus? Yes, I do have tinnitus. I've had tinnitus for, um, well, I've had tinnitus for a long time, but it's been notable for about three and a half years. Um, it's been a problem for about three and a half years for me. It was, to begin with, the thing I struggled with most was uh, sleep. It was quite mild to begin with. It was on and off. Um, and then there was a period that was very stressful uh, in my life um, where my tinnitus got a lot louder. And I struggled with sleep uh, primarily, um, but I got the right help. And I practiced the things I needed to do regularly. And I thankfully was managed to manage to habituate to it. And now for me, for me now, it's no longer an issue, no longer has an impact on my life. So for example, if I stop talking, I can hear my tinnitus. It's there. But hearing it doesn't make me feel anything. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't make me feel anxious like I used to. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable like I used to. It doesn't make me feel anything at all. And that process took, I would say for me, took about three months. Um, I, I recommend, as I said, guys, I recommended for you to just explore and try things that work for you. The thing that worked for me was meditation. I found meditation was really beneficial for me, especially with getting to sleep. But I know for many of you, meditation won't be helpful. And that's fine. Different things work for different people. Um, meditation was good for me. And obviously, the CBT techniques and skills that we learn and teach in this app um, are the right way to go about it. So we have another question from Jamie. Thanks for the question, Jamie. Does this work for all types of tinnitus? Uh, yes. Great question. Really good question, Jamie. Thank you. And we get asked this a lot. Will I be able to tune out tinnitus with uh, pulse star tinnitus? Will I be able to tune out tinnitus with reactive tinnitus? Will I be able to tune out tinnitus if my tinnitus volume changes or the, the, the tone I hear changes? And the answer to all of those questions is yes, you will. The process is the same regardless of the type of tinnitus you have, the cause of your tinnitus, or the sound that you hear. So, um, it's effective um, for all those types of tinnitus. People that struggle a little more with tinnitus, um, I'm actually just going to stop showing my screen so I can talk to you directly. Um, people that struggle a bit more with this process are people that have tinnitus that changes, people that have tinnitus that kind of varies quite a lot. And that process can be harder, but the process of tuning it out is the same regardless of the type of tinnitus you have. Okay, so really great question, but you know, don't worry too much about this process and the type of tinnitus that you have. Yes, it is effective. On average, people 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 do benefit from this. Jill, I've been using the app sometimes when I do the exercises lessons, it makes me much more aware of my tinnitus. Jill, that's a great point and that's that's normal. That happens in the early days. So what I would recommend, Jill, is that um, if you keep practicing those exercises and you do them daily, you will find that actually you become less aware of your tinnitus. In order to make improvements sometimes, in order to, to, for things to improve, um, sometimes we have to become more aware of how we feel, become more aware of the, the, the sensations in the body. And by becoming more aware and understanding those sensations – we become more aware of our tinnitus. But we can only change those reactions and change those sensations by becoming more aware of them in the first place. So sometimes, Jill, that will happen, but um, sometimes, it, you know, in, it's not it's not common, 
but um, there are some times when it will get worse before it gets better. But um, stick with it; things will improve. Um, you know, it, it's it's a case of practice. One more thing on relation to that, guys. Um, before I finish, it's important to be practicing these things even on good days. So many of you will get to the point. Most of you will get to the point where you're realizing, actually, I'm feeling, I'm not noticing my. I haven't noticed my tinnitus for a few days. This is great. My tinnitus isn't really causing me a problem. Keep practicing because you need to prepare yourself for a day when your tinnitus might get might get worse. You need to prepare yourself for a day when your tinnitus um, could be louder. You might have a stressful day at work. Um, you might have something upsetting happen to you. And it's important to be prepared um, for those things to happen. Okay, we've got two more questions uh, and then we will close things up. So... Um, Alan, thank you. Okay, so Alan, I've I've seen what you said. So uh, two sounds being played once by Lily in different directions. I need to swap from one to the other. Okay, I will. Alan, if you could send us a message in the app with that feedback, we will take we will take that on board because that's that's really useful to hear. Thank you for passing that on. Um, so I'm on day four of the free app. I like it very much, but I haven't found many exercises yet. So if you want to go and have a look at more exercises, just go over to the explore tab, and you'll see all of them in the explore tab. We've got six weeks if you were to use the app every day we've got about six weeks of content um so there's loads of content in there um but we just don't want you to go through it all at once because if you go it if you go through it all at once um it's kind of like learning if you know if you remember when you had to revise for exams at school it'd be like reading a whole textbook on the night before the exam we want you to do this slowly because if you take it on board slowly and practice these things you're going to take on more information and you're going to learn the information and your brain's going to process this information, but we've got loads of content, um, so, you know, over six weeks, if you were to use it every day. Um, okay. Thank you guys. So final question, can hearing aids make tinnitus worse? Great question. The answer to that is, um, made in most cases, no, but in some cases, uh, if you're very sensitive to sound, they could make your tinnitus more unpleasant, but tinnitus uh, is actually treatable with hearing aids. So if you have a hearing loss, hearing aids uh, will be beneficial for you. So in, uh, you, you may have been prescribed a hearing aid by your audiologist or doctor, um, by your audiologist, most likely, if you have some degree of hearing loss. But if you have more questions about hearing aids and tinnitus, head into the app and book into our webinar on the uh where is it on the 7th of september because we have a uh dr rachel Nappet, who's a tinnitus specialist with a specialist interest in tinnitus and hearing loss and she's going to talk to you about how hearing aids can be used in tinnitus and how they can be beneficial um do do we have any content related to hyperacusis yes there is i think one or two sessions related to hyperacusis um, if you want help with hyperacusis, we are able to provide one-on-one -on -one help with that. Um, our audiologists are very experienced in hyperacusis. So if you're interested, please do reach out and we can, we can help with hyperacusis. Um, hyperacusis often requires some more personalized support. So that's definitely something we can help with. Um, great. Well, let's call it a day at that. Thank you, everyone. If anyone's got any questions or wants to hear some more information about our coaching, please do get in touch. We're happy to help. But otherwise, I hope you found that helpful. And we will see you next week. Don't forget into don't forget to book into next week's webinar. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evenings or days if you're in if you're not in the UK.